once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath. Turn from your sin and turn to Jesus Christ. If you're sleeping with another man, turn from it. It's wrong. If you're a woman who lives with another woman, turn from it. It's wrong. If you're a weed smoker, if you're a fornicator, turn from it. It is wrong. In the eyes of God, all those sins are wrong. If you if you're a drunkard, turn from your sins, for it is wrong in the sight of God. If you're a witch, if you practice witchcraft, turn from it, it is wrong in the eyes of God. Warlock, Wicca, tarot card reading, palm reading, psychic reading, it is wrong in the sight of God. Turn from, turn from your sins and turn to Jesus Christ that you may have life and have life in abundance God is a spirit and he wants you to worship him in spirit and in truth the God of righteousness the God of hope the God of peace is calling you calling everyone to repent because he has set a day in which he would judge the whole world in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed as heir of all things, Jesus Christ. And he that has the Son of God has the life that God is going to give to all those who come to him. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal, everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, come from sin, come from sexual immorality, come from watching stuff on the, on the internet that you shouldn't be watching, repent and receive Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You see today, the porn industry is one of the biggest industry right now and people are addicted to it before you can just walk into the you can walk into before you can walk into a porn store you look left and you look right make sure your neighbor is not watching today you don't have to do that today you can go in the comfort of your own home and hide out and watch it when nobody the devil has made it so easy and so convenient for you and people are addicted to pornography, all kinds of pornography, gay pornography, or heterosexual pornography, or lesbian pornography. People are addicted to all of those things today. And God is calling you, those things are polluting your mind. God is calling you to change. God is calling you to change, my friends. He's calling you to turn from those things that pollute your mind. God wants to cleanse your mind. He wants to cleanse your mind. He wants to save you from mental slavery. The mental slavery of the devil. Jesus Christ is a peace. Is our peace between us and God. Jesus Christ is the mediator. Is the one that that killed the enmity to make peace, and he calls you today to come, come to me. He said, "All you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and learn from me." Jesus said, "For I am mild, for my yoke is kind and my load is light. For why must you bear the yoke, the iron yoke of the devil?" Why must you bear the iron yoke of the devil when Jesus Christ have a kind of yoke that you can have life and have it in full? 
He can forgive you your sin. All sin leads to death. The wages of sin is death. But God can forgive you. If you repent of your sins, the problem is people don't want to repent. The problem is people don't want to repent of their sins. So they continue to practice in their, their sins. They continue to do shameless things. But Jesus Christ can save you. If Jesus Christ calls you to obey God, obey His words and His truth so that you can have life. Jesus Christ is not a figment of our imagination as some people think. The only people think that think that Jesus never existed are people who does not know history. Jesus Christ, He lived, He died and He rose again from the dead in order to offer you and I life. And He said that all those who come to me, I will not cast away. So if you come to Jesus Christ today, He will not cast you away. Because He, His hands are open, His arms are open to those who call upon Him in repentance. Yes, that is the key, the repentance. People think that they can come to Jesus without repenting. That's a lie. You cannot come to Jesus without repenting of your sin and turn away from it. Repent means to change. Repent means to change. That means if you're fornicator, you stop fornicating. That's repentance. That's repentance. That's what repentance is. Repentance brings refreshment. The Bible said repentance brings refreshment. When you repent, when you repent of your sins, God will give you a new heart. God will give you a new spirit. God will take away, God will take away the veil from your eyes and will give you an eyes to see and ears to hear. God is a spirit and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And God is holy. That means He's, he's not, He's against sin. He does not dwell in the place where sin is. He does not cook sin. He does not cuddle your sin. He tell you like it is because He's not interested in pleasing you. God is not interested in a popularity game. He's not looking to win a popularity contest. He's a, he's a, he's a God of all, all things, all flesh. And so he, tell you, he tells you like it is in hope that you will turn from your sin so that you will not burn. Because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. The wages that sin pays out is death. When you get, when you have a job, you get paid for your hours that you put in. The same way if you're living in sin, if you're living in sin, you get paid for the hours that you put in. And the wages of sin is death. That's all sin can pay you. That, that's all sin can pay out is death but the gift of God the Bible said is everlasting life and it does not come from any person does not come from Buddha does not come from Muhammad or Krishna it does not come from from Baha'i it comes through Jesus Christ alone alone but Jesus Christ is the mediator between God and man the Bible said there's a mediator between God and man your mediator between God and man is not Mary. Mary is not the mediator between God and man. It's Jesus Christ. And the saints are not the mediator between God and man. It's Jesus Christ. So stop worshipping Mary. Stop worshipping the saints. Worship God. And you will live. Any form of worship that is not of God. And it's not due to God. It's idolatry. And idolatry is sin. And God will judge idolaters as well. They'll have their place in the lake of fire.
But before the lake of fire, God wants you to change. God is God sent for His Son Jesus Christ, born of human flesh, so that through Him you will receive salvation. In Jesus Christ, it does not matter where, what caste system you're from. It does not matter who, which uh, tribe you're from, the color of your your skin. It does not matter you what caste system you're from. All that matters is turn away from your sin and turn to Jesus Christ and begin to live a holy and sanctified life. And that holy and sanctified life is only found in Yeshua, in Jesus Christ. He is the Messiah. He is the peace. He is the King of Kings and Prince of Peace. That is why the world will never have peace. Unless they, until they embrace the, they embrace the prince, the prince of peace. You cannot have peace. United Nation cannot give you peace, because United Nation does not have the power to make peace, to bring peace on the earth. Peace is through the, the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He's the only one that can bring peace on the earth. Is Jesus Christ. Are you fake? You, you must be fake then. Really? 2000? Who told you that? Where did you hear that from? In the Bible he's coming in 2000? I think you I think you mixing um, you mixing the pierogies with the with the uh, with the with the hot sauce and and you're mixing all mumbo jumbo. I don't know what that means. Jesus never said that he's gonna come in the millennium. You making that up, sir? You making that up, sir? You mix you mixing macaroni with uh, bolognese and all this other stuff in it. Jesus Christ said that he comes as a thief in the night. He comes like a thief in the night. When the thief is coming to rob you, he's not going to call you on the phone and tell you he's coming. Jesus said he's coming in the thief as a thief in the night. He's going to come to you suddenly. The Bible say when they're saying when they're saying uh, peace and love, when they're saying peace and security, destruction will come upon them immediately. You see, in the time of Noah, there are many people that were doing all kinds of evil things. They didn't know. Noah was preaching and telling them to repent. They didn't know, but until the time came, the flood came and wiped them out suddenly. Suddenly, they didn't have a chance to repent. So people tell me today, well, preacher, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repent uh, next, in two days, I'm gonna, go and smoke my marijuana and then I'm gonna repent after I'm finished my uh, my, my package I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and, uh, and and party and get drunk tonight and, I, and 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 then I'm gonna repent on Monday you may die tonight you don't know you may die tonight the Bible I mean tomorrow is too late the Bible said you don't know what tomorrow will give birth to do not make plans for tomorrow the Bible says do not make plans for tomorrow because you don't know what tomorrow will give birth to. And so people, I hear people on the street all, most of the time, they call, they say fake, they say this, they just, they just make a statement, but their statement really have no facts. But they just, they try to wing, wing something in there. Like, gee, like this man that say Jesus is fake. When I ask him why, he said what he said is going to come in the millennium. I said, who told you that? He doesn't know. He, he picked it up from somewhere. And he's maybe some talking head on, on the internet. He picked it up from, and he thinks that's a fact. And, and he come here and spew that, 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 that opinion. And he, he looked like a fool when I asked him the question. So don't go telling, picking up things you hear on the internet and think and call it facts. Today our internet is full of things that are not facts. Today our internet is telling us that you can get, you can die, you will die from coronavirus and there's no cure. But that's not a fact. That's a false. That's false. 
that's false. But the truth is that you can get it, yes, but you can you can be cured. You can be cured from it. But people are being are, are led by fear. The devil works by fear. When he put as long as he can put fear in you, he can make you do whatever you want he wants you to do. But God is calling you to come to him. Jesus said that the truth will set you free. Only when you come to the truth, that's the only time you'll be set free. You're not going to say be set free if you bury your heads in the sand and think that there's no God, that God doesn't exist. The Bible said only only a fool said that in his heart. Only a fool said that there's no God. But those who are wise believe that there is a God. Those who are wise fear God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is turning away from sin. That is the fear of God. Turning from unrighteousness to righteousness. So Jesus Christ came into the world to call sinners to repent. To call those who are lost. To find those who are lost. To give sight to the blind. Jesus came to give sight to the blind. He came to make the beggar re rich. He came to give those who are eating junk food the real food. Those who are consuming spiritual junk food, He came to give you the, f the, the real food. The everlasting life. The food that gives eternal life. Jesus Christ is that bread. When you continue to do that, practice yoga, uh, trans transcendental meditation and all of those things, you are going, playing in a wrong, wrong, wrong chamber that you don't understand. When you're doing all those kinds of weird stuff, voodooism, witchcraft, you're doing all playing around with Ouija boards, you are playing around with fire. And God is calling you to change. Because those people, you get possessed by demons, you know what you're messing with. So the truth is that light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Because he that practice, he that practice good comes out to the light. That is good may be shown as done in God, but he that practice evil hides from the light. They hide from the light. That is why many things are practiced in the cover of darkness. That is why people who are all these globalists and all of that, they meet in secrecy. They meet in the dark because they don't know, they don't want you to know what they are planning. That is why they have everyone eating out of their hands today. Our media lying to us from every time they open their mouth. But Jesus Christ is the only truth. He can tell you the truth. He is the one who tells you the truth. He tells you that this way is right, walk in it. He tells you that this way is wrong, don't walk in it. But there are ways that look good in the eyes of a man, but in the end is death. The Bible said there are ways that look good in the eyes of a man. And Jesus said that there are two ways in life. There are broad road and there's a narrow, there's a narrow path. And the broad path, many people are walking on it. And the narrow way is the way to life and only few people find it. But the broad road leads to destruction. And lots of people are on that destructive road. No wonder why the destructive road is okay. You can bring anything you want. You can bring all your atheism into the broad road. Sexual you can bring your sexual orgies to the to the to the destructive to the broad road. You can bring all your gay sex to the to the broad road, and it will accept you because the broad road cannot judge you. Because it's a broad road, because everyone on that road is doing the same thing you are doing. So they can't really judge you.
But when you come to Jesus Christ, you, you take the narrow path. The narrow path leads to life. And only few people find them. And that's the path where, you, where God dwells. Where God dwells is that narrow path. That, is, that narrow path leads to life. That narrow path leads to life. Are, are you triggered, ma'am? Are you triggered? <laughs> okay. You're annoyed that I'm speaking the truth? You're annoyed that I'm speaking the truth? Well, it's on a microphone as well. That's are you annoying. Are you annoyed that I'm speaking the truth? On, 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 a, on a speaker, that's the annoying. Oh no, I think it's uh, there's there's a bunch of people playing loud music over here, people dancing and clapping. Is the message, ma'am? Is the message, sir? Is the message? Is the message? It's not the speaker. You see, lots of people today, when truth becomes a crime, you are being ruled by criminals. When truth becomes a crime, when you say that, when you speak the truth, people say, "Hey, that's that's hateful." You're being ruled by criminals because criminals don't like to be exposed. Sinners don't like to be exposed, even though what you're saying is true. It's the same reason why for people with ulterior motives, when you expose their plan, they 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 put they. They call you all kinds of names to shut you down because they don't like the truth. You're exposing what they are doing. So Jesus Christ said there are two ways in life. So I'm going to dwell on this. There's a narrow way and there's a broad way. And on that narrow way, many people that find that narrow way you can only go one by one. That narrow and cramped road is the road that leads to eternal, everlasting life and joy and peace. And then there's a broad road. The broad road is where you can bring every agenda you have. You can bring all your sexual orientation. You can bring all your, all your, all your marijuana, drugs, everything that you bring alongside with you. It will fit, it will fit. Nobody on the broad road is going to judge you and say what you're doing is wrong. Because the next one next to you, the one next to you may be, uh, may be a, child, a, a child abuser. He would, he, and he's here that you are, you are pedophile. He wouldn't say anything because, because you, he knows that he, is, uh, he himself is doing the similar thing you're doing. He will not say, he will not judge you. He will not judge you because he's doing the same thing. I have a question. Sorry, sir. My friend, I love you. Did Jesus judge? Yes, he did. Really? Yes. Did he not say in John, I have not come to judge but to free? The what? In John, did Jesus not say, I have, I have not come to judge but to free you? No, that's wrong. I don't know which Bible, which way, where you're getting that. It's in John. It's not in John, sir. No, Sorry. I can show you. I have a Bible. Go, go show me. My friend, I love you so much. I love your energy. Sorry, sorry, sir, but you're quoting, you're quoting something. I don't know. You're mixing macaroni with bologna somewhere. I'm not sure where you're getting that from. It's not the Bible. Okay. Well, what version do you read? King James, New International? It doesn't matter. It's not in the Bible. What you just said is not in the Bible. You made it up from your own mind. Maybe some of the things in it are not. Yes, and that's why you're trying to quote it. I don't think you are, sir. I said I love you. I don't think. No, 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 no. You stab me in the back. You say you love me, and then you stab me in the back. That's not love. That's not love. Jail? I didn't say you're gonna go to jail, ma'am. If you're lesbian, you need to repent and then come over to Jesus Christ, and you will have life. It's great. You see, the life in Jesus is great. Yeah. So this man called me. He said he loves me, and then he turns and stabs me in the back. That's not love. That's not love. I know when they come to you and they say, well, I'm a Christian. 
No, you. See, my friend. There are something called lukewarm Christians. My friend, in John 12, 47, it says, If anyone hears my word but does not keep them, I do not judge that person. <laughs> so I did not come to judge the world, but I, but to save the world. This is what Jesus said. Really? Did, did, did Jesus not say that, the old, that my word will judge you on the last days? Well, the Father can judge, the Son cannot judge. But Jesus did not come. Oh, to really? Did Jesus not say that that the Father has committed all the judgment to the Son? The Father. You, you can't. You Father, just. You, you're all read over this. the place. Read, read this out loud. Read but this. But that's not what you said. But that's not what you said. But that's not what you said. If you are coming for Jesus, listen. Just. But that's not what you said. This is written in red. What's your What's your point? No, just read this. What's your point? You, you just read it. My point is that you can't tell people to follow Christ by judging them. Really? No, no. You take, am take, I, am take I, the microphone. Am I judging you by telling you to turn from sin? My friend, I will turn from sin. I, I try every day. Well, do, why you? Why? But I think there's something in you nursing some of these sins, and you don't want you don't want to change. That's why you're not happy that I'm preaching okay. against it. Turn the microphone off. I want to talk to you one on one. No, I, I can talk to you. To I can talk to you. Okay. Fine. Well, Read this out loud. Read yes. this out the Bible. You just read it. Read it. If, 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 read it. If, you have the speaker. I want you, people you to just read, read it. Let people hear the Bible. Okay, read it. No, you read it. You have the microphone. Read it. I don't read have it. the microphone. Read it. I don't have the microphone. Read it. You read it. I don't have the microphone, my friend. You did not come to judge the world, but you don't really know the Bible. Are you going to read it? No? Yes, I, I read it. I read no, it already. read it out loud. I read it already. Read it out loud. You're taking it out of context. Okay, read, read it, the whole read thing. Read it out loud. Read the whole thing. Read it. I read it. Read it out loud. Read the whole thing. Jesus came the first time no, Jesus came. He came to save and he caused you to repent. He didn't come to condemn and judge you. you know, he came to call sinners to repentance. But he's coming again to judge. That's why you don't get it. Okay. You not you don't get it. You you lost somewhere he's between the lines. He's gonna come to judge, not you. Listen. Yes, he's going to come to judge. Listen, yes, uh, Matthew, and he's calling you to repent, sir. In Matthew, he's calling you to in repent, Matthew, sir. In Matthew, Jesus said, if you go to a town and they do not listen, then walk away. Yes, Touch you. Your feet. Sorry, you are the only one not listening. Okay, I'm gonna walk so away. So God, dust your feet and walk away. He said. He's, he said he's a Christian. He said he's a Christian. He said he's a Christian, but he's he's taking the Bible out of context. Sorry, you don't. You, you don't, ma'am. No, I know the Bible more than this man. No, he only showed me one. I. He, no, he only showed me one, one text. He's reading the Bible. One text, which he took out of context. Which he took out of context. He only showed me one, I showed him three. I quoted him three. That contradicts all of that he's saying. But he only picked his because you're on his side. You're on the side of evil. I don't even know the Bible. Well, exactly. You don't even know the Bible, but you think he's right. Well, I, how do you? How, how is that? How is that? How is that for a fact? To have a conversation with you, and you pushed him away. Because he's because he has an authoritarian motive. He's evil. He's not of God. I know him. I can read his spirits coming out from him. He's not a Christian. Yeah, of course he looks Christian to me. To you, of course. Anyone can say that. Anyone can say that. Do I look like a CEO to you? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I was talking about the broad road. You see, the broad road is that kind of that guy over there that's... He, he saw something here that, is, that, that he may be practicing and he doesn't want to change. And he comes and he says that I'm, I'm judging people. That, Je that Jesus said that he Jesus said that he did not judge. He doesn't judge, which is wrong. Which is wrong. Jesus is coming to judge. Yes, the first time Jesus came, he came to seek and save that which was lost. He preached the gospel. What does the gospel say? What does it say in Mark chapter one, verse fourteen? Jesus said, "Repent and believe in the gospel." Repent from what? Answer me. Repent from what? Good, from good things? 
You guys don't get it. See, the problem is that none of you know are, are godly anymore. Canada is becoming more and more godless nowadays. People don't know the Bible when you, when somebody takes the Bible out of context and read and read one verse and say, "Yeah, I got it right now." And I read him three verses. I quoted him three verses that contradicted what he just said. And he he walked away. Do you, do, you, do you know Jesus Christ? I do know Jesus Christ. I grew up Christian. And okay. what you are preaching is not... Christian. And that and that is... Uh, yeah, this and is that's me. right what you just did right yeah, now? I'm ripping up your false prophecies. Because How? I grew up Christian. Okay? Yes. I grew up with my dad neglecting me. But then when I went to the church, they still accepted me. Even Neglecting you, your, 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 I don't know you. I don't so, know you. No, what, you don't what, know me. But what kind of, you're, false, you're preaching a false. You don't know me, but you took my 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 pamphlet and ripped yeah, it. You're, wrong. <laughs> you're, standing you're a hypocrite, sir. No, you're no. Hypocrite. No. You don't know me, and you no. care about me, and but you, don't you take. Any of us. But you don't know any of us. But you, you take. Her? Do you know them? Do you know any of them? Do no, I don't. I don't. That, no, so I don't. You but it, no, but anyone practicing this, yeah, the Bible said they will go to the lake of fire. That's yeah, not my yeah, word. Yeah, if you read the Bible, you should know that. Oh, I have. I have. If you read the Bible, you should know that these are all sin. Yeah, do you know what? The yes. Here is also a sin because you're hating. You're telling everyone. You hate him? I'm the one that. Am I the one that ripped up my. my, my, my yeah, <laughs> this this, is this guy paper. is saying that I'm this hating. Is just paper. No, paper. that's You're hateful. You took a religious material and you ripped it You're and you say that it's not hateful. You are a hypocrite, sir. You know what? I you are a hypocrite. hypocrite you are a hypocrite. Right. You repent. You're not a Christian. Repent and you will have life. Would I claim to be Christian? Stop running away from God. I'm not running. Stop away. running away from God and making your own laws and think you're gonna you're gonna is gonna favor you. It's not gonna favor you. It's not gonna favor you. God loves you and He wants you to be saved. Is, is, see, that's the hate, for, that's the tolerant spirit. The spirit of tolerance. Hey, we should be tolerant. But he took my, 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 my thing and ripped it into pieces. But he's tolerant. Hypocrites, bunch of hypocrites today. Bunch of hypocrites today. Only he can. Huh? Only he can judge. I can judge. <laughs> Only this, only the guy can judge. I can't judge. Yes. Did you judge before you get out of the house today? Whether what kind of clothes to wear? Yes. Oh, okay. Anyway, Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners, to save the fornicators, which I used to be. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the uh, the. I'm not the, 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 the saint. I've never been saint all my life. I used to be a fornicator and I used to be a porn watcher. But I repented of those sins. And now I'm a saint of God. Because those things now I find it disgusting. I don't find it pleasurable like, it used to, like I used to find it when I was blind. So now I can come and tell you the truth that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. And you call it hate. You call it hate. What do you want me to tell you? That pedophiles would enter into the kingdom of God? That rapists would enter into the kingdom of God? That's what you want me to tell you? You see, that's the problem with people today. They don't know. They don't want to know the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. The truth makes them uncomfortable. That's true. It's supposed to make you uncomfortable so that you can change. The reason why the truth is spoken is so that man can turn from their sin and turn to God. And those who turn from their sins are saved. But those who remain in their sins are not saved. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of hypocrisy going on here. People taking religious materials and ripping it up and calling themselves loving and tolerant. You see, that's the problem, and he's and he has his nails painted like a like a woman, but he comes in and takes my things and we rip it off, and those who see it, uh, some people who agree with him will, will will cheer him on. The Bible said to to preach the word in season and out of season, because the time is coming when they will not give heed to the truth. 
but they will accumulate teachers for themselves in order to tickle their own ears. And that's what's going on today in our society. We've gathered teachers from ourselves. We've gathered uh, nihilistic professors that tells us that there's no God. And we believe that lie. We murder children in mega doses every, every, every year, every day. And we call it women's rights. Everywhere you look around us, there's sin. And many people know these sins, they believe it, but they're afraid to speak it in the public area because it's not popular. But the Bible calls us to speak the truth, whether, whether, whether it's popular or whether it's not popular, so that those who are trapped in sin, those who are trapped in the world of Satan will be saved. Those who are trapped in sin will be saved because the devil... The devil wants man to remain in their sins so that they can die. But Jesus Christ is calling man to, to be saved. The Bible says Jesus Christ came into the world to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. And he came to set the captives free. And so if you're captive to sin, today Jesus Christ can set you free. If you're captive to immorality, Jesus Christ can set you free. Freedom is not a chance to do whatever you want. Freedom has limitations. Freedom has limitations. It does not mean that you can, you can do whatever you want and go free. Freedom allows you the right to do good and be protected by it. That is what freedom is. Jesus Christ is the savior of the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but they will have everlasting life. But whosoever does not believe in the son of God will perish. Those who believe in the son of God will not perish. And those who do not believe in the Son of God will perish because they do not believe in the only begotten Son of God. The truth is plain to see. God is a spirit and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. God is not flesh. He's not a man that He should lie. He's not a son of man that He should, he should feel remorseful. And they that follow Him, worship Him, must worship Him in spirit and in truth not in falsehood, not in flesh, but in truth and in spirit. For God is looking for such people to worship Him. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is everlasting life. And it's only through Jesus Christ you can find it. You cannot find it in Buddha. There's a lot of people today in our, in our generation that are, they read one part of the Bible they read that uh, they take Bible out of context and they read it then they say oh Jesus doesn't judge and then they they throw away the rest that say, say that he judges they take things out of context for there are two roads in life there is a narrow way and there's broad road the broad road that leads to death and only few people find it Yeah, they try to take you off your yes. game. Off, yeah, yeah, that's the that's the devil's work. It yeah. is. It is. Yes. The work. We'll, we'll, we'll come back we and have see a, you again. We have a skateboard ministry. <laughs> we go and meet people. And okay, we've been saved thirty years. Thank you. God bless 31 you. Thirty-one years. Thirty All years. Right. Yeah, the devil doesn't want to hear. They don't. Oh. He doesn't want me here. Thank you, sir. God bless you. We got a lot of guts coming down here. I got to tell you that because <laughs> you're right. You're, yeah, God is my protector, my shield, and my rock. My rock. You're my, just, you're just, 150 yards into the gates of Sodom and Gomorrah. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, take care. <laughs> you too. Take care. Hallelujah. Paul said that I charge you before God and before the Christ, who will judge both the living and the dead, 
and some people who say they go to church tell me that Jesus does not judge, which is a bold-faced lie, or they just don't read their Bible. But the Bible said that Jesus Christ is a judge of the living and the dead. And anyone that is living in sin and don't want to change, the judgment will come upon them. But if they change, they can be saved. So the key is, is, not, is, is not staying in your sin. The key is to repent of your sin. That's what Jesus said. It's to repent because the kingdom of God is at hand. And those people, those people, Paul spoke, Peter spoke about those such people. He speak, but their, pro, their false prophet also arose among the people. The false prophets are also arose among the people, just as you will have false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them, and bringing upon themselves swift destruction. And many will follow, will follow their sensuality, and because of them, the way of truth will be blasphemed. Paul speak, Peter speak about the people who go to church. We do we not have it today in our society? We have today where people are say that they are gay pastors. We have today in our society where people claim to be gay pastors. Something that is not in the Bible. Something that is never in the Bible. What they claim it. So because they claim it is true, those are the people that Paul wrote about and those are the people that Peter wrote about as well. They are called the false prophets and false teachers that are telling people the lie, that are telling people lies from a pulpit and tell people that Jesus, Jesus does not, does not, did not, did not judge. That Jesus does not judge. Wait it, slow. He, they don't tell the people that Jesus came into the world to save. But he's coming again to judge. And Jesus also judged while he was here. He just didn't judge those who, who are in their sin that, that are looking to be saved. That are looking to, uh, for a way out. Jesus didn't come to judge them. But Jesus judged those who are the religious leader of their, of their time, he judged them. He called them the white, whitewashed tomb. He called them, he said, how can you flee from the judgment that is coming? But these men, these false prophets, many will follow their sensuality. Because of them, the ways of the truth will be blasphemed. Because in their greed, they will exploit you with false words. Their condemnation from long ago is not idle and their destruction is not asleep. These people, so-called gay pastors or so-called people that are more progressive, that call themselves Christians, that are spewing false, falsehood to people, telling people that God does not judge. Who in their right mind will read the Bible and come up with that such, such narrative? that God does not judge sin. Only person who has an authoritarian motives, only people who are, who are greedy, who are, who are greedy and like to exploit people. They want you to give them your tithes and your offerings, but they won't tell you the truth. But they won't tell you that God, that God judges sin, that God judges all unrighteousness and wickedness. They will want to tell you that because you will not come back and you will, when you don't come back, you won't bring them that your tithe and offerings. Those are false teachers. Anyone that tells you that Jesus Christ is not coming to judge the living and the dead, they are false teachers. They are lying to you. No wonder why people today believe that lie and they propagate it as truth. And they think that they have a weapon against you, against, against the man of God, that they have a weapon against the word of God. 
because they can come and they can claim that you are hateful and all of a sudden that makes you a hateful person. So those false teachers, their destruction is not sleeping. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into, into Gehenna, into eternal, into Tartarus, and commit them to chains of gloom darkness, into a pit of gloom darkness, and kept them until judgment. What judgment? If God does not judge. That is why the devil is a liar. And the devil will come and lie to you and tell you these things and you believe it. Because you don't know God. And the devil also have his own agents in, the, in, some, in, 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 in some hedonistic churches that promotes all kinds of lifestyle as good. But God would in the end will judge. God would in the end bring judgment upon anyone that despises his word or twists his word to their own destruction. God will bring judgment upon those who practice wickedness and evil. If God did not spare the ancient world but preserved Noah, a preacher of righteousness, with seven others when he brought the flood upon the word of the ungodly. If he did not, if he did not, if by turning the city of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, he condemned them to extinction, making them an example of what is going on, what is going to happen to the ungodly. People are thinking all thoughts of falsehood and they're preaching, teaching falsehood that they don't even know it. When someone comes up to you and tells you these judgmental stuff that God does not judge, you know that that person is, uh, is hiding some sin in their lives that they don't want to be exposed. And if they say that they're people of God, you know that they don't read the scriptures. Because if they read the scripture, they will know. You don't even have to go through one chapter of the Bible where you will not find any book in the Bible you will not find God letting out judgment upon sinners. You will not, or where God condemns evil. Me too. Yeah, I'm the first condemnation. Well, you need to repent. You need to repent so God can forgive you. You need to be, you need to repent so that God can receive you. So that God can save you. You don't have to be, remain condemned. Jesus came to save those who are lost. And that's the salvation. That's why it's called the good news. The bad news is that wages of sin is death. And the good news is that God sent His Son into the world to save you from sin, to turn you from sin and turn you to righteousness so that you can be you can have eternal life and be saved. Thank you, Lord, for the preaching of your word. I pray that, that it fell on the ears that heard it. That it fell on every ears, even those who leave this conversation or discussion will not, will not leave without thinking it through what they are believing. I know that they are working in error.